Hey, what's up turtles? Crick here with Black Owl Outdoors. And today I want to do an update video on the Ontario Rat 2 folding knife. So here's the model I've been using, the actual knife I've been using, I think it's been over two years now since I uh, did the first initial video on this. So I want to do an update on this knife because I really like it and it's pretty much the primary, primarily um, the EDC knife I've been using for the past two years. And this isn't really going to be an in-depth video um, on the specs or anything like that, but I will mention first about the steel. It's AUS-8 steel. And to be expected with its edge, edge retention, uh, you know, it's right where, right where I expect it to be on a knife that's right around $27. But I really, really do like this knife for a few reasons. And the first one is just the design. Now, I've yet to find another design that I'd like as much as this for EDC purposes. Now there are a lot of knives out there and a lot of folding knives, EDC knives, but that's not really one of my, what do I want to say? I'll have multiples uh, of gear, equipment that I'm really into and have things that aren't really necessary. But honestly, you know, folding knives aren't really one of those for me. So I've had this and I've continued to use it for two years and I don't use this for work or some people that might actually use their EDC knife for work where they're have to be a little bit more conscious of the steel choice for it to edge retention because they're using it every day. But for me, that's not really a case. So this AUS-8 steel is more than adequate, more than adequate for what I need it for. And for pocket knives, you know, they're, they're going to be in the pocket. They're going to pick up a lot of lint. So it's a good idea to clean them pretty regularly and or at least just check, check on and see the condition because definitely it's something that can get away from you if you don't, if you don't clean it regularly and like I said, I just took a toothpick, cleaned out all the lint, and then I'll just drop a few drops of oil up here just to keep it a smooth action. And I've also just recently switched. You probably maybe see some uh, some markings right here, just some wear up here during these three um, three little holes because I was carrying it tip up, and I recently switched just to try it tip down. You know, there's that debate tip up, tip down, and it's neither here nor there for one I like better than the other, but I will show you in my pocket then the only little hiccup I found by carrying a tip down. So I'm right-handed, this is the right side of my leg, and because I switched to carrying it tip down, the thumb studs are up now. And on these pair of pants, it's really not that big an issue because they're light and flexible in the way the pockets cut, but on my denim jeans that I wear pretty much every day, the thumb studs, you see it peeking through right here, would get caught on the pocket of the jeans. So all I really had to do was just sort of twist the, twist the knife to bring the studs a little bit away from the lip of the pocket. Another nice little feature of this knife is that you can, it can be used with the ferro rod closed so the sharpness of the blade is not exposed. And I like to keep my knives very, very sharp. And I do this all freehand. I sharpen all my knives freehand. Don't use a work sharp. I do have, it's Lansky, I believe, the knife sharpening system. I do have that, and I used that for a while before I really was confident in my freehand ability. But now I just do everything freehand. I use some DMT diamond stones, leather strap, and that gets this knife really sharp. You can see that. I mean, this is a newspaper. So I go quick with it. You know, not catching really. Sort of the angle's goofy, but. Do some curves. Slow it down for camera. So pretty sharp. Let's poke it through. No slicing, I'll just push. Pretty sharp, right? Yeah, I think so. So that's pretty much all I wanted to say about this knife today. I definitely recommend it, and it is my favorite EDC knife for things I mentioned. The other sort of folding knife I've tried for EDC purposes has been the uh, Blur from Kershaw. That's just too big. It's just too big in the pocket. And most of you know, if it's not comfortable to wear or if it's bulky or sort of, you know, you know, uncomfortable, you're not going to use it. You're not going to keep it on you. But this knife, this Rat 2, fits the bill perfectly. And I really haven't had a desire to look for anything to replace it because it's just a perfect size. And it's just a really nice, well-built um, well knife. So 
If you have any suggestions of other, you know, folding or pocket knives that are around this size, nothing really big, nothing really wide blade, let me know. You know, I'm a gear guy. I do like gear. I like looking at stuff. So, so don't hesitate to let me know. And if you want to support the channel, you can do it a few ways. You can give it a thumbs up underneath the video, or you can donate to our tip jar that's now active. So uh, I hope the video was uh, helpful. It's a beautiful spring day. And uh, yeah, take it easy. This is Crick signing out with Black Owl Outdoors. Later, turtles.